All right, so I'm heading back over to have Will work on changing my brake pads and rotors for the rear wheels. I also want him to check out my air conditioner, drive it around, make sure everything seems good, um, and make sure I'm good to go for my trip out across the country. Not totally across the country, but you know, my driving trip. I want him to make sure everything's good for my trip in June so I can be safe. Yeah, so tell me where that the gasket is, or even if it's something I can see. Is it something you ever can see that, oh, there's a crack mm, in it, or? Yeah, if, if see like a valve cover is leaking, you would see oil running on the side. Oh, okay, so it's good that there's no yeah, this, oil you, there. It's clean, dry, it's dry. good. Yeah. So where is it? It's down in, like down, way down in there? Yeah, it's on the side, okay. it's the one on each side. So if I ever it's open it up and I see that there's oil, oil. then I need to have yeah. something looked at. Yeah. Okay, now what about the air conditioner? Like where is that stuff? And like, how do I know if I need to also have my air filter changed? Right here, that's your air filter. So should I have done that when I did the oil? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you're like, yeah, mm-hmm. But um, yeah, that's, you v, there's a V, you, your engine is sitting this way. So this would be a front of your engine, basically. Oh, really? It's a V6, it's a V6, so the front wheel. Is that how all V6s are? They're um, if it's a front wheel drive, usually set up like this. I didn't know that. So, so that's considered the front. This would be your right side of your engine. This would be your left side. Oh. This but is the back the of the engine? Yeah, this is the back of the engine. <laughs> that's, that's weird. Yeah, that's okay. the back of the engine. Wow, okay. So if they say left bank, right bank, that's your right bank. That's your left bank. Inside is your left bank. That's your right bank. Okay. So then the air conditioner stuff is down there? It's like down there. So it's, it's, it should be in, in the corner. So can you check like coolant levels or other things or like Freon or yeah, whatever I it is? Put a gauge on it and see. Okay, the it's is. not something you can pull yeah. out and like check like that. Okay, okay. Well, I don't think it's even rained this week, so it wouldn't have filled up. But of course, there's still moisture in there. But that's all right. The light works. And that's what I care about. So how often am I gonna? What's the average of how often I would have to change these? Replace again? Pardon me? To replace them again? Yeah. Probably not a... At least a year. It okay, good, so good that's year. about average is a year on the on the rear. Didn't you say the front yeah. or you, you do ev two times the front? Two times the front. So, ever, so twice a year I should be replacing my brake pads on my front? Depending on how you drive. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't slam on the brakes. Like I'm super, yeah. super sensitive. Yeah. Gosh, I'm thinking I've gone way longer than that in my cars, but is it different for a van? Yeah, because it's heavier. Okay. I do a lot of highway driving, so it, it'll take me like two years if I even do brake pads. Two years to do either the rear or the front yeah. for, for your car mm -hmm. with doing yeah, highway driving. driving. Okay, so what is that that you're holding? Caliper. Caliper? Yeah, brake caliper. So, does that look good or bad? Yeah, it looks really a, rusty or yeah, gross, but is that normal? That's, that's the, because... That's just where it's located. Yeah, and where it came from. Okay, but it's not like going in bad <laughs> no, no, condition no. It's, or something. It's, it's still good. Let me push it in so you know. So, is this the actual pad or yes. is the. Okay, that. No, no, that's the metal. Let me that, stop. Okay, that's why I'm confused. Out. I don't need to have that metal piece replaced. That's or is that part of the rotor? Oh, okay, it does. Yeah. Oh, good. So it's gonna be healthier. Oh, wait, wait, what? Wait, See, that's, 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 your, that's your surface. That's the, there's no pad. 
bit, barely anything. There's nothing there. See, that's the metal right here. Oh my gosh. So I'm supposed to see something. That I want you to compare it to what I'll, the real I'll one is. Yes, oh my gosh. That's crazy. I guess my front brake pads are working really well. See that? Oh. So that's the metal right here. And it's that thick. That, and yeah. the, oh, there really is nothing there. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you see. You are, you you are a, super right. You have an electronic brake sensor. See that wire right here? Okay, so if that's the case, then what does that mean? Why it, is it broke off of that? Oh. Would it have told it me? Would, it should have I was said, oh. it should have said it on the dash. Okay, well good, now I feel better. That, yeah. That's not just the kind of brake pad I ordered. Like, is that typical? That's how it should have been. That's how it should have been. It should have been like- Like that one did have it. It's not that, that the other one didn't yeah. have it. See this? This is, this is so sweet. So it just completely broke yeah. off. Yeah. So why wasn't I hearing more squeaking? I, you said there was a piece that could have just yeah, done that's piece. Some of it, some, sometimes they have a metal piece or sometimes they have like electronic piece. Oh. So they, it should show up on the dash, it's like the brakes are locked. Sometimes when I turn the steering wheel, I hear the squealing. Not squealing, not bad like, uh -huh. but occasionally I'll hear something. So then I'm like, what is that? You sure it's not the belt? No, I'm not sure of anything. <laughs> I mean, it's not like bad. It's not like when I've had other belts replaced and I'm like, I can, I know how that sounds. Okay. This is more just like, just light. That's why when you drive it, if you make a sharp turn, I want you to see if you hear it. <laughs> so if I replace the rotors on the front and the rear, what else do I need to really be worried about as far as the rust goes other than, I guess the, I mean, is there anything I really need to seriously be concerned about? No. Okay, so I'll be good. Yeah. Yay, that makes me feel a lot, a lot better. Is it ever so rusted that you can't like get it to come off? Yeah. Well, I don't want, I don't want that to be my case. Sometimes you don't know what you're getting. <laughs> One big surprise. never thought I would be excited about like a, a bright and shiny rotor. So now is that something that I would have to replace very often or now that it's in the south? Yeah, you, sh you, sh you shouldn't. It's not something you typically replace. You would replace, you would replace a pass before you replace a rotor. But like how often do you, so that is a replaceable thing. Yes. It okay. Is. So like on your car, how often would you be? doing that if you're down here in the south and not in the north with depend, those issues. If, once again, depending on how you drive, if you do a lot of stop and go, you're gonna wear out your rotors. But it's not but, as often as the brakes. No. You could you could do like especially in the back, you could replace pads where you could leave your rotors, not change your rotors. For like several years kind yeah, of thing? Yeah. Okay. That's what I that's what I'm wanting to hear. <laughs> So how's the caliper on that? Is that a, in a okay condition? This is how you tell. If it's able to go in smooth, you know the caliper is still good. So what is, why is it going Okay, because it's like, it's screwing in inside or something? Yeah. There's a piston. Oh, it's a piston. Okay. So, as the brakes weigh, it comes out further and further. Does it go out and in? Or is it, oh, as it's wearing yeah, away, it, that's it, when it goes, oh, okay, okay. So, that's where you make your brake fluid go low. Okay. Just this down to the, bit, down to the one, metal. This one just have a little bit more than the other side. Wow. He just was banging it because it's not wanting to come off. Oh, finally, it's turning. He said it was 
moving a little bit. Look. It's so rusted out. It's not wanting to give. He's been working on this for a while. He worked on the other side for a while, too. I feel bad. He's in the sun. The other side was in the shade. I'm like, let's turn around the van. But he didn't want to. Oh, come on. Give way. Come on. Get all the rest come off. Come on, God. Let it go. Finally releasing. Yay! There we go. Like what am I? It's separate. Like? It's separate from the regular bricks. That thing right there. Yeah. Like two, there's two pieces. That whole that piece one. is the brake. Yeah, and you have two pieces. Okay. It's like you have two rotors. I mean, two um, two brake pad for your rotor. Okay. You have two shoes for your drum. Okay, so. That's you can see that there's wear and tear yeah, on there. Yeah, but that's good though. Okay. I have a lot of you have you have plenty of meat on there. But I'm good. You're okay. Good. Yeah, you're is good. that what it's called a shoe? Yeah. This thing right here? Yeah. That's your issue. Okay. So that's something you would we would replace. You don't really have to use that. Okay. But um if you use your emergency brakes a lot, and if you if you keep it on, it will wear that down. Okay. But you But I'm using it fine. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So it was just really caught on. Yeah. Not was it because of all the rust? Yeah, all the rust. Yeah, too. Was just making it connect yeah. so much. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank the Lord, right? It's like everybody doesn't carry around one of those. What's it called? Uh, manifold gauge set. Oh, I've heard manifold before, but yeah. that's about it. Yeah, but that's, manifold gauge. Yeah, manifold gauge. Just this exhaust manifold, and then this manifold gauge. And that just it. So it only checks. It AC. only checks the AC, yeah. the Freon level, yeah, or does it check other stuff? No, that's it. Just I mean, that's really all there is to check, I yeah. guess. That's it. So why are there so many different cords? There's a high side and a low side. A high Freon uh, side no, and no. low Freon? What, is that? what does that mean? Pressure. Oh, pressure. Yeah. Okay. So this is your, the red is the high side. Mm-hmm. Low is, the blue is low side. This tell you how much pressure that's in the whole system. This tell you how many, uh, if it's the, um, the level of Freon is in it. Oh, so one's about pressure and yeah. one's about the level both, of Freon. Both about pressure. Oh. But this side tell you the level of Freon. This one tell you the um, pressure in the whole system. Okay. Could you have the one of them be good and the other be bad? Or is it that they're either they work, both they bad? Work, yeah, they work, oh, okay. Uh, they're either both good or both bad. Yeah. Okay. So now the air might not even be on. It's on. Oh, it is on. Okay, so is this like good, bad? Yeah. So your pressure is, should be around 200 or 250. Okay. That's good. You, um, 30 to, to, to 30 and 60 is um, the level. So that means I'm kind of low. It's right on the borderline. Is I'm, that bad? I'm, like I'm it needs more? Okay. Because it's not like a, a camp here. You can put a little bit. Oh, it's not. Because once you open it up. So it's either, so if it goes below 30, then is it then time it, to replace? Then it, it will tell you. Will tell you, the compressor will tell you if it's going on. Like because I should have. Oh. You have it clicking on. Uh -huh. That was kind of why I was wondering why when I turned off the car, if, if like it was still making a clicking, like it was trying to do something, but obviously the vehicle's off. That's off. Well, no, that's, that's definitely off. Okay. 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 Because normally it'll, I guess it'll say it on there. On this one. It said 80? Yeah. That's how much pressure is in there? That's what it Oh, it says that's what it can be? Yeah, 
So are they all at 50? Yeah. So that's good. They need to all be the same? Yeah. Okay. Here he comes back from testing out the van, seeing how everything is. And I think I've got an A plus report, I hope. Did she get an A plus report? Yes. Oh, I'm sure it's good. Yeah, I just want to make sure you thought it was good, felt good. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, how much do I owe you? Can you hear the squeaks? Like, is, is that normal? Okay. I feel like something's probably not normal. The short story is I went back over and Will spent probably another two hours trying to troubleshoot what the issue is and ends up that he needed to take off the brake shoe for the emergency brake on this one side because it wasn't fitting well with the rotor and that's how we're handling it for a temporary fix. Stay tuned um, to see what happens next and live intentionally and be blessed.